All right, Juan. Well, that being said, let's move on to uh, the fight of the week. First thing first, uh, Jay. Um, I, the the um, technique of the week uh, probably start differently. Um, start in the farm and throw, and then right away we do like a triangle drill with an armbar. You know, similar that uh, Dustin Poirier executed to to Max Holloway the first time there they met. They met. Uh, however, this is just a drill. You know, it's technically just um, executing, warming up uh, before you know I start doing the the situation jujitsu. You know, you know it's it is uh, sad to see. We, we we need to be always honest with our students. You know, I, I always tell them this is not a, a move to do on the street. This is uh, technically doing like a jujitsu sports. Well, if you're um, so well versed, you probably could hit in an MMA fight if it's you know if it's there for you, you take it. Um, simple. Do you have uh, any questions about it? Yeah, is that a uh, now? I'm going to go back to my WWF or WWE now uh, days. That is that a fireman's carry you get to get him on the ground? It is. You know, and like I said before, it's just like. Um, before getting like a live training situation, you know, I, I, I like, I truly recommend it to beginners. Um, they could uh, warm up properly if, by doing just wrestling shots, you know, uh, be gentle. I mean, you don't have to be rough with your, uh, with your adversary, with your uh, training partner in this case, you know, um, that way you can um, have an excellent workout, bring out the best out of you. Now another question I have one is it, it looks like when you um, when you get the fireman's carry to the ground, it looks like you have your hand on the tricep and you hold the hold uh, his tricep and you hold his tricep the whole time. Then you adjust your foot and switch to the armbar. Is that correct? That's exactly what it is. And uh, yeah, we need to at the very uh, at the half of the combination we have to hold the tricep just because uh, if he's experienced a uh, grappler he could probably hide his arm a little bit and then avoid the arm bar, you know, before uh, throwing the triangle, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. And I, and I think it's great that you have these one. Um, I think for all levels, you know, you're, you're a high level black belt, but it's great, even a white belt. And I think maybe speaking from a, not as an experienced jiu-jitsu guy as yourself, um, can you explain kind of the importance of the thumb location when you're trying to get the arm bar? Definitely, definitely. You, because um, you can see the my two knees are posed on the grappling mat, and then my my feet is uh, facing down, and then um, you give him like a tripod posture, you know, and then um, it's uh, clever to have the right leverage to execute the armbar, you know. Uh, if I'm on bottom, if I'm on bottom, it is uh, much better to do the triangle. But if I kind of stay on top like that, it's like uh, I just do the armbar, which is a simple submission. It's so clear what I, we're doing right there, you know. It's uh, jiu-jitsu, no-gi, grappling, you know, catch wrestling perhaps. And I think there might have been a, a little bit of confusion on the question. I meant more like when you grab his arm for the armbar, how you want your opponent's thumb, like how that directs the angle of the elbow, correct? Uh -huh. No, I understand. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, his pinky on your chest, uh, probably thumb, definitely pointing outside. And that has to do with the angle of the elbow, right? Because the, wherever the thumb is, the elbow will kind of follow. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a, a great question, and um, it's exactly what it is. You know, by having his pinky right on my chest, it is the perfect uh, hold of the. Perhaps you, you could you could uh, utilize the keep his wrist uh, and the pinky right on your chest with probably both hands, and then uh, the technique is gonna be just right there for you. Awesome, yeah, I know. Uh, um, when you're when you're getting taught a white a white belt armbar, a lot of little details are the most important thing, especially when you want a submission so bad. If you don't get those little techniques, you won't ever get a submission. But I remember one is. You know, uh, you're kind of on him with the triangle, but if you're falling back is, uh, you know, make sure that thumb's kind of towards the ceiling um, because that will make sure the elbow's in place to be in the proper uh, angle to uh, cause the most damage and pain. But uh, this is great, Juan. Um, 
Uh, I'd love to, you know, I've never tried a fireman's carry. Uh, what, what's your breakdown on that? Um, definitely, uh, I would rather be this defensive before even trying. Uh, be uh, let your partner get an honor hook on you. If your partner get an honor hook on you, you could close distance right. You know by trapping his um, his a uh, arm with an overhook. That's what we are gonna do right now. A overhook, and then. Of the overhook, that usually if it's a, if it's a wrestling match or perhaps a jiu-jitsu match, he's gonna just come forward, and then just by walking forward, you time and right, and then you execute the technique, you know. And by, um, and by executing, so once you get that overhook, you're throwing your other arm between his legs and getting your head kind of towards his hip. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it could be like a high crotch. Farman, you know the difference is a high crush is usually we we're gonna switch to do the flare instead of uh, completing the uh, regular far, farman throw, you know. Awesome. When uh, one other question for you on is um, when you're on top and you're locking the triangle, do you always readjust your foot? I know that's pretty normal with uh, standard triangles from the bottom, but it's the same with the top. You always go for that foot and readjust. It's always good uh, to to do uh, your own uh, adjustment. Um, definitely, if it's tight, it's always uh, gonna work, no matter no matter what. If it's tight, uh, it doesn't mean like uh, you could uh, definitely have different uh, challengers that uh, could test your abilities to hold a different submission. I'm, I'm not uh, arguing. I don't bring an argument on that. However, uh, you know, if we if we hold uh, each different. Uh, technique movement each step just right how he, he gotta he have to be so tight and then execute a basic arm bar awesome and um now when you're you're on top of him and you get that triangle locked in you readjust your foot it's locked in pretty good um you know, maybe in MMA, you're going to land some punches, but in a jiu-jitsu tournament, say, are you going to go for the triangle first, the arm bar, or is that totally preference upon yourself? The triangle, uh, you have to be before, before even trying the arm bar. You have to, you, you need to have a clear uh, triangle and then excel. The, the, Technicality because it, it is a anticipation. You know, I'm trying to do. A, I need to be because we need to be under. We need to understand that we are advanced. We understand that we have different techniques, different uh, way of training, different um, you know academic uh, system in the jiu-jitsu, which we take it very serious. You know. Well, that's awesome, Juan. Well, thank you for this. Uh, again, that's Move of the Week with uh, Cesar Gracie, Black Belt Juan Nunez. Thank you so much, Juan. Appreciate the breakdown. You're welcome, bro.